My son hasn't been hospitalized with anxiety since. <laughs> There's real evidence to support um, the therapy dogs helping children with difficulties. Every time you go and see him, you're always happy. No other school in WA has done this. He doesn't look like a student. And he certainly doesn't sound like a student. But every day, three-year-old lab Charlie heads to school with his carer, Gary Walker, to go to work. Go and sit. Sit, Charlie. Good boy. And this is where Charlie works, at school. He comes in with me in the morning, goes home in the afternoon. Um, during the day, he's left with the, our uh, support staff here to, to do his duties. When he was just a puppy, Charlie went through two years of training to become a guide dog. Dogs love contact. They love the physical praise. Guide Dogs WA Phil Stanley has trained puppies for more than 30 years. If you haven't got consistency in a working dog, then clearly the blind person's safety is in jeopardy. To train a guide dog costs $30,000. Charlie is one of five dogs sponsored by McDonald's. He would look at me when I was sitting at my desk, he put his head on the desk and grab a file of papers and carry them away. Now, only a smart dog who was looking for attention would do that to their trainer. Too cheeky and full of beans to guide the blind, at three years of age, Charlie had a career change. Let's go. Come, buddy. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's now a behavioural therapy dog for kids at Bunbury Senior High School. There are times where we've had sort of uh, our workers with some kids one-on-one -on -one in tears, you know, not coping with either school or family situations and it tends to bring things down, make things calm and um, helps us to sort of resolve some of the problems that are going on. The school's student support manager Tim Fry came up with the idea of using trained guide dogs to help troubled kids relationship to the key in our business and if kids are getting on with with each other and getting on with teachers and if this can facilitate some of that well it's that value adding and that's what we're hoping for and the kids aren't complaining Graydon how special is Charlie for you um oh he makes me want to come to school a lot more um to come and interact with him and talk to a lot more teachers when he comes around so yeah and what about you Ebony Why he makes you, you really you? happy when you're all upset and he makes you smile and if you just want something to talk to, but you don't want to talk to a human, you can talk to the dog. I love them. I love them. And the cause is good. A guide dog volunteer, Kerry Goda, helps raise the puppies. Rosie was her last recruit. Two years we had Rosie, and she was really special. And my son suffered from anxiety. She came three months later, my son hasn't been hospitalised with anxiety since. Um, and I just think we all just fell in love with her. Dogs have been used as therapy dogs for over 200 years. There's evidence of them being used 200 years ago as therapy dogs and we know the benefits. So let's spread that benefit. Let's help children, help people where we can. As for Charlie, Phil says his cheerful influence means other schools across the state are likely to follow his lead. I suspect once other schools know the benefits and the positive contribution that a therapy dog can make, we may get some inquiries. He's certainly going to become a really valuable part of our team. As long as, um, as, long as he's happy to be working with us. Mm -hmm.